Well hi everybody, we're back at the Discovery Garden, it's looking absolutely beautiful. It's peaceful, green, blossomy and look at all of those daisies. Merlin's having a fine time. I just think we could sit and make daisy chains. I hope you do get a chance to get out. You can collect some daisies and make some lovely daisy chains for yourselves or for your, grand your grandmas, your mums, your dads, brothers and sisters. Aren't they beautiful? And in amongst them are those lovely dandelions too. Daisies are our silver, buttercups are gold. I think dandelions are our gold. I'm going to go inside the Discovery Garden. It's looking very lush and green. Miss Lisa's been collecting wood up to make some more planters and let's take a quick look around. The apple trees are in blossom, beautiful pinky white blossom, just asking those insects to come and pollinate so that we can get some lovely apples. I hope it's going to be a really good year for apples. Oh, just look at them. Absolutely beautiful. And actually it's helping me to realise that we have apple trees all over. I'd, oh no, I'd forgotten how many we had and how many we'd planted. So I've got a little corner here with some willow that are taking over. Look how tall the willows are now as well. And then I've been making a little nursery bed in the tyres down here. So there's nothing in that one, but this one, these are the oak trees that we're growing from acorn. And they're doing very well. They're, can you, I don't know if you can see, but they're getting some little buds on there. Now oak is one of the last to get their leaves on. But it's big brothers and sisters are making lots of pollen today, which is why I'm sniffing. These are the elders. Can you see them planted there? That made a home in Miss Lisa's garden, so she brought them through to have elder trees in the Discovery Garden. And next but one, you can should be able to tell by the, the leaves, that these are our horse chestnut grown from conkers that we collected. And they're really nice and strong so they'll grow here perhaps another year perhaps another two years that's why it's called a nursery bed and then they'll move on we'll take them out and we'll put them separately so they have enough room to grow now I've got one two three four five five more tires to use as nursery beds so some of the things that I've been planting will probably go into those nursery beds Pizza oven's looking a bit forlorn because nobody's used it for a while. This is exciting. This is Olford's mulberry bush has actually got some leaves on. It seems to take ages to get leaves and then be the first to leave it, lose them. The horse chestnut tree behind is looking very splendid with its hand leaves. Hasn't got any of those candle flowers on yet. We've got the cherry tree has been and gone. But its blossom is going now, but I'm hoping lots of insects have visited it to make cherries. The teasels are on their last legs now, ready for some new ones to grow. So it will be time soon when the insects don't use them as homes anymore to put them, chop them down, put them into our bug hotel. Lots of our lovely plants have got some very healthy green. We're just waiting for some flowers now. Got lots of weeds. But some weeds are good, remember? Mr. Woodings has been putting signs up. Invertebrate hunt. Fantastic. The white thorn, remember that was the first one to have that white blossom? All gone now. And it'll be making its slow berries. Look at that blue sky, absolutely gorgeous. So here is an apple tree that's hiding. 
hiding amongst some um, goat willow. How can I tell? I can tell it because it has blossom on. White blossom this time. So actually it could be a pear tree. The pear tree has white blossom and actually looking at the shape of it, do you know what? I think we might have a pear tree. I don't remember putting that in. Sycamore tree, considered a weed because it grows anywhere. Oh look what we've got here. This is a buddleia. Buddleia is called the butterfly bush. Oh look at these lovely flowers. These are forget me not. Off to now at Easter time. I don't know if you can see, but this goat willow has got lots of fluff on it and it's floating. The seeds are floating in the air. Can you see them? That's another thing that's making this leaf all snotty. This honeysuckle's growing too, big and strong. And the willow, so we've got lots of branches that we can weave in to make the willow stronger. <laughs> Excuse me. Dandelions, plantain, that's these long ones. Do you remember they're the ones that we play guitar with? The plantain. And there's another view of the Discovery Garden. So our herbs, our sage and our rosemary are looking very healthy. The rosemary has got some beautiful blue flowers on. Look at this. Very pretty. And visited by bees. That helped pollinate. And down here are our teeny weeny alpine strawberries all coming out in flower. Remember those ones that when you taste them, it's beautiful strawberry flavour. Mm -mm. And right next to it, can you can you tell me what they are? Yeah, chives. The chives are just about to flower. You shouldn't really need. If you want to eat them, then you don't let them flower. But I love the flowers. They're pretty. What else can we see? Lemon balm in the corner there. Never fails to grow. Elder tree growing very tall now. What's your fingers, Miss Lisa? What else? So let's go and have a look at the pond, shall we? What's happening? Oh, can you see our little friend there? That's Robin. And he follows me around. Miss Yvonne will like to hear that. I don't know if you can hear the birds, but there's a lot of bird call going on. I need to get some more bird food because I haven't fed them for a while. So lemon balm growing in our tyres. And look at our blueberries. I think we're going to have a lovely healthy crop this year. I've pulled down all of those nettles that were around them. And you see the white bits, they're the flowers. They're what the insects go into and pollinate. Next door to that, we've got the gooseberries. I can't see it well. I don't know if you can see that. There's a few little fruits starting to grow. But the leaves are lovely and healthy. Mm, the nettles are back. Dun, dun, dun. Not all bad though, because the insects like them. You just need to keep away from them. And look what we've got here, our currants. They're growing big and strong, lots of gorgeous flowers for those insects to visit and to make. I think we've got black and red currant here, haven't we? I think we do. So we go around the, oh, the Mini Beast Hotel. Is it busy? I don't know, it might be closed for coronavirus, you never know. Keep going. There's the canal. Looking very quiet and serene. I 
I wonder if Samuel's newt's still here underneath these mats. I'm going to leave them quietly though. Here we've got the pond. Now the pond's looking a little bit low so I may need to put some, some of the collected water in just to so it doesn't get too hot because that would mean the animals wouldn't live in it very well. Alongside we've got, can you see the marsh marigolds? And the mace, the bulrushes are growing as well. They're the ones that the dragonfly larva like to climb up in order to change into dragonflies. Even the hill's got some flowers on it. And the bird hide. I've been spending a little bit of time in there. And do you know what? You can see so many birds. And down there we've got the climbing tree. Now we had an audit done on some of the, the trees up here and I'm afraid to say that the man, the tree man, decided that some of our trees are condemned, which means they're going to have to be chopped down. I'm hoping it's not a climbing tree, but if, if it is, we'll make something else happen. So look at this. Look how tall the weeds are growing without you tramping around on them. And here's your climbing tree. Missing you all, I'm sure. Now finally, Mr Smith and Mr Woodings have managed to get some covering for the music area. So I'm hoping that when we all come back, will have the area to use as well. Polytunnel's doing a fabulous job at helping our seeds to germinate. But they might be a little bit hot in there now and I'll, see, I'll show you what I mean. 